Hey, it's Eric here at Peachtree Classic Cars, and this is a 1960 Ford F100. Short bed truck. This, they call them style side when they're not a step side. Call them style side. Chevrolet calls them a fleet side. And you probably knew that if you're watching a video like this. Absolutely beautiful truck. This is what I call like a beautiful driver. It's got brand new paint. This paint's about six weeks old. It's been buffed and uh, waxed and just looks fantastic. And like I said, really nice looking really really nice looking little driver here not a not a show truck but it ain't show truck money either so uh, got a bed liner in the bottom of the bed and overall the bed looks really good there's a couple of spots here where um, there's just kind of you know a tiny little spot here or there where you can see just a touch of rust but nothing major at all really really straight body on this truck and from being underneath it which i'm going to show you in a minute before we take it for a drive uh from what i can tell it's minimal to basically a rust free truck from what i can see i haven't seen any so i just want to just point out look that look down those body lines across this hood now it does have the original uh emblems on it and they're older and you can see they've got a little age um it's not hard to just take a little paint and touch them up with a brush if you want in fact that's what i did over here touched it up a little bit but the original emblems they've got some pitting on them and if you really wanted to you can order them online or you can uh or you can uh you know of course re-chrome them so glass is in good shape i'm going to say good original condition is what the glass looks like if you get to the corners you see the fog that's fairly common this actually glass says fomo co on it just like that's probably the original glass and you can see a little bubbling around it i personally think that's kind of cool i think it goes with the nostalgia of the truck but it's those little things that keep it from us saying that it's a fully restored truck you know i mean those are little details but that being said the truck's in great shape there are a couple of little spots like i said this paint six weeks old unfortunately stuff like this happens you you, you accidentally drop a tool you know something happens in the garage and uh, and a little little chip right there and then there's one underneath the hood you pop the hood Ugh, i'm lifting this hood up actually with one hand and there's a couple of little spots right there you know closing the hood down it's common it's unfortunate but it's two tiny little spots they could probably be very easily touched up we got the hood lifted here this is actually a chevrolet v8 350 uh, 1970 and it's got a 700 r4 transmission bolted to it four bolt main and just a beautiful engine detail one of the things i really like here is the owner went ahead and when they did the engine detail and painted it went back with a like a factory ford original style color so even though it's obvious you know if you know your engines that the you know distributor's not in the front like a ford it's in the back and you can just tell by looking at it that it's a ford that is a chevrolet engine it just looks really nice it pops it's got a nice engine detail everything in the engine bay rust free even the original old jack that's bolted here is super cool added a power booster to the original drum brakes they stop strong and they stop straight and we are going to take it for a drive here in just a minute got an upgraded um, radiator along with the engine clutch fan, fan shroud clutch fan. clutch fan new battery and just absolutely beautiful beautiful under the hood one of the things i loved about this truck is the interior i was marveling at how often i how often do i get into a truck like this and the uh and the dash has been cut and everything nice looking clean uh door panel this little spot right there just nicked it with you know getting in and out of it i think i might have hit it earlier knocked that off but it's not that big a deal but in here this is a big deal to me uncut original dash are the gauges functioning? All gauges work except for the uh, the, light, the battery lights. and the uh, the oil and the battery light, but okay. the, this kind of aftermarket functions. Oh, okay, gotcha. So we got aftermarket, and this is the owner here with me. Actually, my brother-in-law. He is a basically a master mechanic, and when he is absolutely meticulous about these things, even the horn works on the truck. So, fuel gauge, speedometer, temp gauge. And the idiot lights are not working, but like I said, like we said down here, she's a little cold natured. We're gonna fire her up here in just a minute. Uh, but as soon as she gets warmed up, man, we've actually, the cool thing is, we had a couple of last minute little tidying up on it, you know, vacuum the carpet and stuff before we did the video. And uh, we've actually been driving the truck quite a bit today. We probably put about 
40, 50 miles on the truck, driving it in traffic, driving it down the highway. The carpet's nice and clean. Does the heater turn on? Yes. Okay, heater turns on. So seat actually appears to be the original seat frame. Somebody, you know, recovered. It looks like maybe back in the 90s, they had a little pocket here, um, but it's in very good condition. I don't see any rips or tears. The headliner's cool, and this is one of my favorite things. This is an old grandpa thing you don't see very often. The Western hat holder. I love it. Hey, Dennis, does the, uh, does it, oh, look at there. I answered my own question. Even the dome light turns on. All I just absolutely love stuff like that. So, door, listen to that door close. This is a great sound. So, let's take a quick look up underneath it before we take it for a drive. Extra clean. I mean, there's no undercoating under here, so there's nothing being hidden. These appear to be the original floor pans. A little bit of Swiss cheese holes, very minor in that inner fender uh, uh, cab corner, I mean. But other than that, the rest of these floor pans look great. And like I said, you know, there's no undercoating. We're not hiding anything previous owner and I really love this look at these step sides in phenomenal condition all the, all the way down the frame and even the bed you know this bed is steel so going up underneath the bed here inner fender well so a common place the water collected actually right in the front of the bed and just like I said right there you got a little bit of rust so I got to go back and like I said in the video earlier and take it back and say I can't say it's a hundred percent rust free truck but man it is a minimal rust truck and honestly if this was my truck and I was keeping it I don't I wouldn't even go after that wood that rust right there I mean unless you just had nothing else to do <clears throat> inner fender wells look at how clean they are these tires by the way are new freshly painted wheels brand new beauty rings and uh, and center caps I think the exhaust sounds great on here too. We're gonna crank it up in just a second. Just wanna show you this. Inner fender well here, super, super clean. Hopefully the camera's adjusting there, it takes a second. We'll go ahead and do the other fender wells real quick. And the fourth one. I mean, just really, really incredible condition. I mean, honestly, if it wasn't for that little bit of rust, and that's a common that's a common spot in Ford trucks. I've had many of these trucks, and quite frankly, unless they've been frame off or stored, they are almost always rusted in that one spot there at the front of the bed where it touches the cab. Original floor pans on this side as well. Original step sides. slide around so you can see the cab corner here you know the frame supports phenomenal and on this side two tiny itty bitty holes there I mean again like I said if I was keeping this truck that wouldn't even be I wouldn't even put that on my list of things to do I'd leave it alone now I say that I was just talking to a guy yesterday about a 64 Ford I sold him and he and I said, well, now, since you're up in Michigan, maybe you would want to undercoat it. But around here, we try not to undercoat things, mostly just because we never want somebody to think we're hiding anything when we go to resell it. Incredible, incredible condition underneath. I'm very impressed with this truck. Well, let's take it for a drive. We're going to grab those couple things, uh, the floor mats. And uh, we're going to take it for a quick drive. Like I said, we've been driving it all day. Um, he's got some uh, floor mats he's been keeping in here to keep this new carpet clean. And we pulled them out just for the pictures and stuff, but we're going to throw them back in. Unless you want to throw them in the bed. You want to just throw it in the bed? Oh, sure. Yeah, we won't be driving that fast. Couple of other things while we're in here. Windows just roll up and down nice and easy. 
Glass is all in great shape. The window felts appear to be new or at least newer, if not brand new. When weather stripping inside is all in great shape. The window on the driver's side as well. Really easy to roll up and down. All right, let's go for a drive. Carburetor is adjusting to where it'll bump. First bump. It's got yeah, an RV she, cam. Yeah, a little cam in it. She just takes a little time to get warmed up. But you can see here, good oil pressure. And uh, you just uh, adjusted the steering box, did King the kingpins pins. and bushings. Just the steering box. It drives nice and straight down the road. I, I was noticing that earlier. Just the brakes. Got a new power brake booster. All the lights work. All the I heard the turn works. signal clicking earlier. Yep. Um, windshield wipers work. Yep. One thing I noticed is a little spring on this side. The spring keeps them holding up. It's missing that little spring on that side. Probably could grab a. Probably could grab a spring and put it on there. And the only downside about this time of day. We got school buses and traffic but we'll get we'll take a little driving that's the one thing I do like about living on the farm where I live is we just go when we need to go glove box is good and actually the original Vintag in the glove box Looks like you can go after this one. Whew. Do you want me to turn? Uh... Yeah, you can just pull in this neighborhood. No way. We're not stuck in traffic. Or you can drive either way. I just want to show that it shifts through the gears. and You can hear the transmission shifts nice and smooth. I don't know if you can hear it, but the turn signal's clicking. Yeah, turn signal's clicking. They, they function, they work. I made sure that it had all good bulbs in it. There's no bad bulbs. Armor's Steer's bulbs. nice. One thing I love Super about this nice. one too is uh, the last couple old Ford trucks I've had did not have the original steering wheel. Man, I love that original steering wheel. I love it too. It looks so good. I'll stop here and we'll shift out. It's got a nice little rumble to it. It's got an RV cam in it. Not a hard shift, shifts right in. Got a good governor. Man, this thing just rides great. I mean, for an old truck with original suspension and everything, it just rides down the road nice. Well, there you have it. This is our 1960 Ford F1, F100 short bed truck, style side. Take a look at PeacefulClassicCars.com for all the pricing and details. We look forward to hearing from you.